and welcome back. There have been a few changes while uh, we've been away. I've installed some windows here. Let me quickly break one of them so I can show you how to make it. And then we're going to move on. Okay. So using these lumber pieces, uh, just build yourself a little frame. Just like that. That way I can have lumber, but not... Well, that way I can have windows and not have to worry about the expensive cost of glass. Now, while I'm thinking about it, the uh, sound effects were still loud last time, so it's it's just a, a job of, you know, fine-tuning it. I installed this back step and door, plowed myself out a little bit of a vegetable garden. Um, it was not at all unusual to have a small little private plot. Um, a lot of people kind of smuggled those little plots away and weren't exactly open about the fact they were doing that. They'd still work the farms, of course, but they, they would have their own little sets. I went ahead and decided to put hickory planks down here. Made a table, already went over how to do that. Finished up these walls, like I said. Looks great from here. I mean, I'll be able to see everything on what's going on. I'll be able to see how much metal, wood, the progress of things over there. I went ahead and did this. Now, I'm leaving these bare because these I do want glass. And I'm going to need the forge to be up and running first for that. I went ahead and put the roof on. Uh, it's just the same thing as I did on the other roof. The only difference is the fact that because they're so close, the the roof on the other building actually blocks off that vent, so I can't put a vent there. Another way I could have done it is if I didn't want them to have the roofs going all the same way. So let's see if I can get out there and actually show you a little better. go and where did that go that went here if I didn't want them to go going the same direction I could have twisted the blacksmith roof and they could have both had vents but I decided on this particular one I wanted it going the same way I thought it would be a little bit more intricate that way Now, as far as the uh, the ground over here, the main reason why I did this was because I didn't want pe uh, critters jumping up on here and getting at me. So I just went ahead and leveled that down one. It, it, it actually looks really good, because even from the side, all you have to do is put a little ledge here saying, hey, this is built here. And then you can just leave all that land there and it gives it, it breaks it up quite nicely. You just put a fence, making sure people can't access it, and there you go. Later on, I might do the same thing on this side if I put another building over here. Might not, I don't know, I'll decide later. I moved some of the, um, the vessels I had over here for the tanning on back there since they were just simply water. And that brings us on to what we are actually planning on doing this episode. And that is going to be getting some more copper tools. I went ahead and uh, finished up gold panning, got myself a chisel. I'll show you how that works later. Actually, we'll be taking that with us when we go down there, so... How much wood do I have? Okay, I'm gonna need more. Need the prospector's pick, we'll definitely need the pick itself. And we'll need the hammer. I don't think we're going to need the knives, so we can leave those there. Also, uh, before the recording is done, I'm going to go ahead and help lay out on camera the, uh, the potter's house so that you can kind of see just how working with the land goes. Once again, you don't really want to deform the land too much. For one, it doesn't look very nice. For two, it's it's murder on your tools, and tools are a bit expensive. 
Crops are doing good. I've replanted up the onions. Harvested them. Uh, green beans should be coming up pretty soon. Other than that, not much is going on. We saw some surface ore uh, over here. I think it was tetrahedrite. And our prospector's pick is not finding anything. So this is actually a very good thing. Now, you ask why it's a good thing. Well, it's a good thing for the fact that it allows me the opportunity to show you the way that they actually would have done it in medieval ages. Which, it's, it's an interesting process in itself. Uh, they didn't have a lot of accuracy on knowing where to dig. In fact, actually, that's one thing about technology that has not changed any. They still don't. They take experts, which are simply people that have more experience with types of rocks, and those experts are like, okay, well, this is a good place to dig. You have a higher chance of finding something here. So that's what I did. This is the area that we had the tetrahedrite found in, and I mar marked it out with that thatch. Right now, looking around for some sticks. Yeah, see, there's some more tetrahedrite. And if just if we take some readings, we're still not going to find anything. Thinking that it's a bit lower down in the strata. Okay, do we have enough sticks? Or do we need to find more? Got 14, I'd like a couple more. Let's make up some ladders. That's not going to get us very far, but it will get us somewhere. Um, because we can't actually get the the reading from the surface, we're just going to have to do our best guess. Before we go down there, though, I'm thinking it might be a good idea to get some support beams. I don't know. It's just one of those things that you really seriously want to have on you. Just in case. Okay. Now we do have this blocking out some, some sun, so... I have to be a little bit careful. And this was pretty normal. They basically dig holes all throughout the countryside, hoping that they could find something at all. See, we did find some traces. It's probably a lot lower. Um, let's see if we can find a, a good spot where we can just grab a lot of branches. I don't even care if it's dead wood, so... We might decide to take a, a little run on the coast. See if we can just find a, a bunch of sticks real quick. Seventeen. That should get us down to the uh, the stone at the very least. Fruit trees are are doing pretty well. They're still growing. They're young, but daily growing. go down a few more. I think we just hit rock. Yeah, we did. Okay. So the, the shovel's no longer going to be of any use to us.
Okay, so we are getting traces and we're getting it in this direction. At which point we have a couple options. We can either dig another hole farther that way or we can go ahead and dig straight through. Uh, the problem with the, the digging straight through is it takes a lot of durability on your, uh, your pickaxe and that's not exactly a great idea. So I'm thinking we're just going to do the old fashioned medieval method of digging a new hole completely. Now how far away is that? One, two, three, four. Bloody hell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's try a new pit over here. And we don't really need to mark that anymore. I know that this might seem very inefficient, but um, this is quite seriously what they, they would do. They would just go along through the countryside, digging holes in the ground, and they didn't find what they were after, they'd move on and dig another hole. It's just something that they did. It's It might sound silly or foolish, but it's quite literally how things happen. In fact, actually, it wasn't until the publication of Diary Metallica that people even second-guessed that that might be a bad idea. Where's the zombie? No? Maybe not? Maybe not. nervous. Okay, yeah, we're definitely starting to get things like uh, medium samples, which is, it's better than what we were getting over there. So I think we are moving in the right direction. I'd like to dig down a little bit more until we got to the stone and make a decision call from there, just because otherwise we aren't really... Lovely, only one ounce left. Really oh, I'll finish it off when I get hungry. Um, and we need more sticks. There's likely a zombie up here that's gonna try to jump me. Yep. I know it was. That is 100% fine. Because... I'm gonna run back in here. Where he can't access. I still don't think he's smart enough to go through that window. I hope he's not smart enough to go through that window. I should probably not assume he's not smart enough. I think that might be a bad idea. Things for sure, I do not have enough sticks. Okay, he is smart enough. Are you smart enough to get up here? No? Good. Ha. Ah. Maybe if I'm skillful about this, I can beat the crap out of you without you being able to do anything about it. Oh, 
I've got to get that window in there, because otherwise they can get through, I guess. whole reason I ran in here to get away from these mothers. Well, get away from these stupid zombies, I guess, would be a better way of phrasing it. A little bit of wood. Throne type, but... It should be enough to... Maybe keep zombies out. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to come through there now. Spiders still should be able to, but... <sighs> the house isn't completely solid yet. It's not done. Very much a work in progress. Should be able to get some water over here though. Okay, and we haven't even started to um to mine yet. And yes, I realize I could fill in the holes. That's not typical. People didn't just fill in the holes that they made. That was kind of silly. You know? I know it's not silly to us, but it, it was it was very silly to them. It was extra work that they didn't have to do. I'd like to keep a hold of gravel, so I guess what type of rock, uh, dirt are we gonna use? I guess we're gonna use... I actually kinda like the Phylite mud bricks better, so let's use the Dolomite dirt. And let's go be silly! Let's go fill in that other hole so we can get the ladders. It's very, very silly. I don't know why it's doing that. What is that? Weird. Okay, so I guess sometime or another I must have pressed F7. And I guess one of my mods, I don't know which one it is, but I guess one of them lets you show spawnable locations with that. I. Wow, I've never seen that in this mod pack before. Okay, whatever. Yeah, see, at this point we're getting nothing but mediums. So I think this would be a good time to actually switch over to the to pickaxe and see how far down it goes.
still getting mediums. Still? Yeah. So I guess at this point we actually have to, uh, to go ahead and make a decision. Since we are getting something. We need to go ahead and set up some mining support beams. And get this thing moving along. So let's let's pray that none of this like falls in on our heads just yet. Dig out a bit of a space. Place down some beams. Now these beams in themselves don't do anything, okay? It's the cross beam that helps. And that should protect like four spaces around it, so I could, from here, dig out a few different spots and start investigating around here and finding out where, where we are going to actually be getting some of this more. Okay, that's small, medium. Okay. I don't think it's going to be that way. One, two, three. Four. Dig it out one more. And then test it. Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and start digging out more of this. Now the way I like to do this is kind of a star pattern. That way on every side except for the one that the ladder came down on, I have immediately access of the um, tunnels going out. That was starting to get smaller there. Let's go ahead and go four this way and see if it gets any bigger. And in, this is still pretty accurate to real life. I mean, as you get di uh, closer to it, you can see more and more of the mineral in the rock. You still might not have a a usable quantity. Yeah, see now we're now we're getting large. So it is gonna be that way. In that case, let's go ahead and widen this out because we are gonna want to be able to put up another one of these support beams. That way we don't get any, uh, you know, collapses on us. No cave-ins here, please. Also, if you, if you do the narrow ones first, it gives you a better idea of which ones are not the right ways, and then you put the larger passageways on the ones that lead where you want it to go. And then either we, we run into the vein, or what happens is we start getting readings so ridiculous that we start looking up and down for it. Another method that they used to use is they used to dig sideways and then go up and give an approximation and then dig down. 
the problem with that method is it's almost guaranteed to cave in where you're digging down. Uh, hopefully if it's well supported in other areas, you don't have like a complete tunnel wide problem. But yeah, you, you usually have a cave in where you dig it down. It leaves it a bit of a rough and jagged edge, but it does work and it is effective. Yeah, we're still getting large. Or it's medium. That's large, okay. So we might have to dig further this way to find it. So far though, we've we've digged we've dug a few blocks this way. And I'm I'm pretty confident we are going the right direction. Okay, here we have very large. That's large, yeah. Okay, we are definitely finding it. I'm thinking it's going to be off in this direction, though. So let's go ahead and... Of course, we need more hickory, but... That should be pretty easy to find. Just have to go back upstairs and grab some. Another reason why they didn't uh, fill in holes, not only was it extra work that was unneeded, but it prevented them from saying, oh, we've already dug here, we aren't finding anything. If I recall, actually. Yeah, okay. So we, we were just barely getting the traces over here. It looks like it's probably going to be like right, right over here somewhere. Like in that cave over there. Which if I had been smart, I would have probably checked out first. But that's okay. This is a bit of a uh, adventure with you guys tagging along. Let's find another one that we can pop off of here. And if I if I'd gone that way, I would have I don't know, maybe found something, maybe not. A lot of times they like to um Okay, what happened there? A lot of times they liked to go explore caves first. It is a wise idea. Not always the first idea I think of, but we have anything we can eat. Something to get us our strength back so we can go back to work. Of course not. I left my knives over here. So since we are, are hungry, we're going to put this on hold for just a little bit, grab our knives, go collect up some seaweed, fight off that ever-pressing threat of hunger, and then get back to work. Okay, so we have some food taken care of now. Basically, this whole episode is just going to be talking about how to find ore, how to track it down, how to get it. It's more or less what this whole episode is going to be based off of. So, at this point, let's go ahead and... Another 
torch there. Make ourselves a bit of a corner piece here. I'm doing this let me go ahead and you know be a little bit less boring there are chisels you have different modes that you can employ on them right now let's go ahead and move these on smooth which is the first form by doing that select your mode with the M key right click on it basically you just have to have a hammer and a chisel on your hotbar there you go. Pretty easy. Okay. Now let's dig four this way and find out if we are chomping on the right area or if we need to adjust fire. And hopefully we're, we're deep enough down that we don't have to worry about I just got some I just got some tetrahedrite. Okay, so any more around here? How close are we? Oh yeah, we are swimming in it here. Now we just have to figure out if it's if it's up, if it's down, if we can find the actual vein itself. Because we already got one piece. Go ahead and grab some more of these smooth ones. They're going to be pretty important for helping with uh, making the forge. And finally, it doesn't look too bad either. It's not as good, in my personal opinion, as dolomite, but. Okay, it's just a standard size. Will it not let us? Hmm, that's interesting. Interesting, so it won't let us chisel the, uh, the blocks that have blocks above them. It let's us chisel the bottom ones. It's very strange. It's probably just one of those rules to keep you from exploiting, being able to uh, chisel blocks. Okay, and I know it's hard to see, but if you can tell the difference, it's that little bit of gray right there. It's running through the rock. That is the tetrahedrite that we're looking for. And right now it looks like we are on the outsides of it. So... Thinking that this would be a good time to start doing some exploratory uh, digging. Just realized that that was my last torch. So let's see if we can get another one. And we are definitely getting some. The question is, where is the majority of the vein? Is it up? Is it down? Is it straight in front of us? In that little ravine? 
Islands. It looks like it might be. Is there any below us? Am I going to be in danger for popping that? Yeah, it's all throughout that side of the mountain right there. Bloody hell. So we're going to have to find a way to dig on down so that we can get there safely. We could possibly build some scaffolding over there so that we can get nice pieces, but, um, yeah. Might be a bit of a chore to do. So for the time being, I'm going to widen this out and think about my possibilities to get down there, because I we definitely have found some tetrahedrite on this side too. So I think that that ravine just literally splits through the middle of the deposit. It's still supposed to be a big deposit, but um, I'm not sure just how big it's going to be with the ravine going right bloody through it. As I'm sure you're <laughs> painfully aware, just like I am. Yeah, I'm not sure. I might, I might just bring some wood back and address it that way. Let's go ahead and pop this one. When you separate out stone and it has nothing to hold on to, you get this interesting piece of smooth stone. Let me see if there's anything above that. Yeah, there is. Okay. Ooh, there's gravel above that too. So I might not mess with that, but yeah, I'm not going to. not doing a, a bit of quarrying here for stone right now, so I'm not that greatly concerned there. <sighs> does look like there's been some cave-in. Not much, though. Looks like there's some bloody hell. Yeah, there, ha there have been cave-ins. So I guess we could see what we could do about making a way down. Hopefully by making a way down we're not opening ourselves up to attack either. Yeah, there's there's some good deposits down here. And you can definitely see where it's been caving. Ah, oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, so... We got quite a fair amount up here. Definitely think we want to come back with more sticks so that we can get some torches lighting this up and we can see better. Definitely think we want to um, bring some wood here. Take care of that. Where's a cheap way of...
Seriously, it didn't give us back? It was still lit. Whatever. Okay. That's fair enough. Okay, um... Let's grab ourselves this tree right here. That should do just fine. We don't actually need to have it as planks. We can just have it as these sticks right here. Let's grab us copper. Let's grab the stuff at the bottom first, I guess. After we get quite a bit of uh, copper going on, what we need to think about next is how to turn it into bronze. Yeah, that vein goes in quite deep, um, which means we probably need to be thinking about maybe making some support beams. I guess we could do it that way. Let's find out. Please work. That, that, and in the middle? Nope, it doesn't. Needs to be a little bit bigger than that, huh? Okay, well, let's move somewhere where hopefully a cave-in's not gonna kill us. Hopefully we don't have a cave-in. Please, no, 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 no. Okay, let's try it now. Maybe? No. Nope. You need to be at least three tall. Is that your problem? I hope it's not. Maybe you work for us now? Bam, bam, and bam. Okay, now it's not going to give us any issue. And now we can remove some of the stone without having to worry too greatly about it. Which is good, because then we can get a proper support beam going on. Instead of having a makeshift one. In fact spot for a proper support beam right now. Use that and that. Bam, bam, and bam. Definitely have quite a lot of copper going on here. Not sure that we can really harvest all of it right now. Might have to make a couple trips for this. At least we'll be good on tools, we just need to make ourselves some uh some bronze. Now as far as bronze is concerned, you have several different options. You have bismuth bronze, bronze proper, uh black bronze, and that's just the bronzes. You have other options too but we're not going to talk about the other options right now because some of them include things like rose gold which is a type of like 
bronze-ish alloy. Um, it's not true bronze. It is roughly about the same, you know, type of strength, but it's it's still pretty weak. You don't really want gold, which is a very soft metal, being used for things like tools. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. Hopefully that way we can make a bit of a better ladder. Possibly carve one out a little bit. Maybe. Require a bit less wood. Great. there. Oh, one more. Right there. Okay. And we have ourselves the beginning of a mine. As for right now, we have... Actually, did we accidentally leave any ore in here? Are we, were we literally that lucky to not? Yeah, we're, we're just simply full. Okay, cool. Awesome. Not gonna complain about that. Maybe I will pop that one free. And that one free. Okay, what I was talking about is, you see how that's only supported on one side? If we remove this side right here, the other one's just gonna fall off. And if we do the same thing for Yeah, I know. But I really want that rock. I know it sounds stupid. I'm aware. I know. Too much jumping. Sorry. Remove that one, we get the same situation going on there. Now we got three of those and I'll show you what that makes later. For right now, I think I think, I think we're done with that. Then this can just work up as usual. We got ourselves some smooth stone so that we can make a forge, possibly a couple other structures. I don't know how long the recording's been going on, so let me check on that real quick, and I will be right back. Okay, yeah, the, the recording's been going on quite a bit of time. Uh, I'm probably going to end up editing out some of it, some of the less interesting stuff. Um, I do want to get this, this built real quick, but I don't suspect it's going to take very long either. Actually, you know what? Strike that. I'll build it for you on the next episode. Till then, I will see.